Okay, this video is going to be about a tour of my 2017 Scamp Travel Trailer, 13 foot without a bathroom. I'm in camp right now, so I'm going to show you how I set it up. I'm going to show the interior, the exterior, what I have, and some of the accessories I use that really help me out as far as having a good trip and um, staying on the road, because that's what it's all about to me. But let's get started. Let's check out the outside first, and we'll go on the inside and... I'll show you the features on the inside, but we'll start the outside first. Okay, first thing you'll notice is I went with the electric jack because I really didn't like that crank jack that they had, so I went with the electric jack, and it, it works out real good. Second of all, after you unhook from your car, you want a good safety lock. I actually use two locks because I guess being safe is better than being sorry and coming back in your trailer being gone. Okay, this, um... That is called a gravel shield right there. It actually goes right up there and hooks to that wind, and I'll show you in a heartbeat how it's done. Okay, there's, that's how it hooks up. Hopefully you can see the little um, hooks right there. It's got two of them, one on each side, and you hook it, and then you come down here and you lock it in place with these little locks right here, and it covers your gravel shield up when you're traveling. It covers your window up. It's called a gravel shield. I got the outside light because... If something goes wrong, I want to check my propane. I can do that at night or whatever. I also got the propane gauge, but when I ordered my trailer, I only went with one propane tank, but after running out of propane out in Montana, I learned that I needed two. So first thing I did when I got back to Virginia was I put another propane tank on it. Okay, we'll walk around here side. If you notice, I got a cord running. And what I do, I use electric cooler. And I usually I'll keep all my water and my drinking stuff, Pepsi's or beer, what I'm going to be drinking, I'll keep that in the cooler. And then I'll, in the refrigerator, I'll keep my meats and whatever I'm going to cook, my eggs, my bacon, and all that stuff, et cetera, et cetera. I also travel with the um, Yamaha generator. So when I don't have electricity, you know, I can still have electricity running the generator when I'm not plugged to a, a camp shore power. Okay, back to the camper. This rod right here, it cranks just like the handle is. You just crank that handle and it just takes the awning in place. And then the awning itself, I think it's eight feet. It's pretty nice to have. And when you crank it up, you crank it about halfway up. And then you come over and you loosen your little knobs right there. You got one on each pole. And you slide them up, lock them in place, and you go ahead and crank it the rest of the way up. And make sure that the little red tabs up here are in place once you lock it in place. That little red tab right there, make sure that's all the way in. That way you know your awning's not going to come off as you're going down the road. Okay, my scamp came with the yellow scamp riding on it on the side of it, but I really didn't like the color red, so I just... I got me a heat gun and I took it all off and I put what I wanted. Basically the name Janie is a Bob Seeger song about lost love. So that's what the name of my, my scamp is. I also got the outside light receptacle right there. And it uh, under here, tables in the way. But I have the outside receptacle and, and that's what I got the cooler hook to. And I also, most of the time I do my cooking outside so I use a cook plate, plugs right into the socket. I use this little table. Of course, I got little man's water bowl, my cooking utensils, a cooler, a camp chair. Over here, I got my firewood and my fire. And if you're wondering what this is right here, this is my hot water supply. Most campgrounds will not let you dump gray water on site. So what I'll do, I use that hot water I use a pan, and then when I'm done with whatever I'm washing or whatever, that is where I store it. I pour all my gray water and my water into the tub, and then you just dispose of the tub. The reason I did not get water in my camper is I didn't want the extra weight of carrying a hot water tank, and plus I've never ran water through my camper because the whole reason I got a scamp was because of the weight. Mine weighs about 1,500, and... I probably don't put more than 250 pounds of personal stuff in it, and I pull it with the little full cylinder Subaru 2.5 Outback, and it, it tows real easy. I also went with the um, oversized battery right there. That's a 27 
and it, I can usually run three days without having to recharge and of course the gas is for the generator I know it's not exactly safe but that's the way I do it that outside hook right there next to the light is for wet coats or wet tails or whatever okay let's walk around to the back and see what we got okay the back is pretty simple I did go with the uh, two inch receiver right there you can hook a bike rack carry your bike over here you got your fresh water connection unscrew it and in goes your fresh water um that's basically the back i'll give you a shot a quick shot of the inside too while we're here okay that's the outside looking in of course that's my little man right there he's my baby he goes every place with me but um that's what the inside looks like um i'll take you in here in a second and i'll show you exactly everything in here and my setup on how I do things but let's go around here to the other side of the scamp and then we'll go inside and check the inside out okay we're over here on the other side of the trailer and you see where we're hooked into the power right there and I'll show you different adapters I use in a second here but um that right there is my power going into the trailer right next to it is a coax to pull direct TV or whatever cable TV you want to use campground has it those are my vents right there then you have your city water and your drain outlet where you just hook a hose there and run it into whatever however you go save your water I usually use that blue tub I have over that I just showed you a while ago I also went to the chrome tires a lot more sporty looking than the white rim tires and I also went to a low profile tire you can also see right there I have a grease fit and you just pop this little cover off and it's a grease fit and it's a good idea to grease your wheels about every three to four or five thousand miles and always make sure the first thing you do when you stop is to chalk your wheels before you unhook that trailer so your trailer don't run off on you okay I'm gonna take the side cover off right here and show you what's behind that okay I did away with the little uh, plastic whatever they were called and I put screws and toggle wing nuts on it okay right here that is your stove right there and your um, electric you got you can run on 12 volt or you can run on 120 or you can run on propane your refrigerator run on propane and over there you got your light right there that little circle is where you light it and you also run your furnace off of that but that's what you got right there and uh, hopefully I explain that pretty good to you hopefully you can see but that's a wing nut I went to a lot easier than those little plastic things because I was stripping them out it, as much as you take that cover on and off I figured the best thing to do is go with something steel and wing nuts okay this is a surge protector I always use it and what you do you plug the top of it into the power and then you plug your cord into the right here and um basically it just protects your power supply your electric and your trailer and everything for power surge and you know for me it's a must because i usually have gopros hooked up and computers and all that good stuff so i don't want to burn them up so I always use a surge protector most of the stuff i buy I just buy it on amazon show you a couple other things I travel with this is a um, 30 amp to shore power you plug your um, 30 amp in from your trailer right there and then you can hook it into shore power right there it plugs up that's something I always carry with me okay now this adapter here is from 30 to 50 um because you never know you might get to campground all they take all they have is 50 so one end plugs into the 50 and the other amp goes into your trailer 50 amp i mean 30 amp and that way you always prepare for whatever you come across when you're camping and i just i like to have all my bases covered i also usually carry like a, a 50 foot uh yellow cord jacket extension cord for just you know if i need it because you never know okay that's the outside of the trailer let's go on the inside and check it out and see what you think about the tour of my 2017 13 foot scamp okay hopefully y'all can see that but I, I did go with the screen door and it just slides right on back just like that 
it does, it's really good as far as keeping the bugs out so let's go inside and check my trail out first thing you'll see is the refrigerator right there it's where I keep my meats and everything my eggs and the only reason I have an electric cooler is because I keep my drinking water in that because when I'm at camp I usually don't drink the water right above that I have a silverware drawer and it's it keeps most of my stuff in it it keeps my um spoons and scissors and can openers and lighters and all my cetera, my peel boxes my spray okay down here this cabinet here I just keep my cleaning material and all that good stuff over here I got my dish detergent my cleaning rag right there that's my heater it works excellent okay up here basically I store my um, box stuff you know macaroni and cheese graham crackers whatever I have light stuff up there I also built this counter I'll show you what it looks like in a second I took down those little swirly rods and I put my own wood up there because I like that a lot better this way with the countertop I can um use a coffee pot and I will also show you some other things I travel with okay that's what a uh, stock scams could look like you go have your two burner stove right there runs off propane and then you're gonna have your sink right here and that's what it looks like without the um, countertop on I'd be able to let y'all see what that's like also it's got a little bit room window right there so if y'all cook it on the inside you can um open your bit and some of the stink go out of it okay this is basically how I frame the countertop out I used one by fours to do the frame and I think I use like a, a half inch ply board it probably doesn't weigh 20 pounds and it, usually if I'm not if I'm going to use you know the stove whatever in bad weather I'll just put it on the bed or I'll put it on the front sofa or I guess you could store it in the car if you really want to but barely rarely do I ever use my stove or my sink so I just always use the countertop because I'd rather have counter space but that's what she looks like said before most of the stuff I get on Amazon I travel with an electric skillet because if it's raining outside I don't want to cook outside I can have that I also carry a little small crock pot which is great for doing chicken and um, I carry a portable heater in case I run out of propane I can just fire up the generator and I'm not gonna freeze all that stuff goes in this closet right here the bottom shelf comes out and I keep a portable toilet down there and all my utility stuff gets stored most of the uh, crock pot and the, um, cooker and the go up on top shelf and then the heater goes right there but that's look at what I've done with my closet okay I also have 120 on each end of my counter the straps right there that one right there holds down the countertop I also have one right here that holds down my drawer and then if you look real closely I have one right there and it holds my refrigerator close because it has popped open before going down the road and I end up with stuff all over the inside of my camper okay on this side of this end of the cabinet I have my 120 outlet over there the one in the middle is for the the furnace thermostat for thermos then next to that you got your 12 volt plug-in and of course my straps to hold the countertop down I also have a strap on my arm cabinet door to keep that closed because I've had going down the road before and things have fallen out of that okay under my bed is where I usually store my clothes I keep one basket full of shirts and socks and underwear and then I have another basket under there and I keep pants and long pants and short pants and that also I usually have another basket back there and I carry my my canned goods back there because I really don't like putting all that weight up top in the basket so I mean in the cabinet so I put them back there in these crates and it works out real good it distributes the weight okay I did go with the big bed um, I just like the room and also if I have some company I have closet space back here and I usually keep um usually just towels and stuff like that I went with the TV the TV also has a DVD player in it and it's really nice I mean some nights you just want to kick back and relax and watch TV 
I have another cabinet over here which I keep um, usually my paper plates and all my saran wraps and ziplock bags and all that good stuff I also want the flex, flex fan it works really really super nice I also want the AC unit which will definitely keep this whole unit super cold you can't beat it also both of the side windows are crank out windows uh, just little knobs right there and they they crank on out the back window is a slider and it's glass and it also has a screen and all the windows have screens so you don't have to worry about bugs coming in okay the reason I got this table because it was pretty pricey but it is detachable you just take it right there and you it pulls out and you can store it in your car but i got it to work on my computer or when i'm cooking i'll have extra space because it's right there it does go up and down it does turn all kind of ways i mean and it stores pretty easy but it was a gimme to me because i never hardly have put my bed up i just i'd rather keep it down and mess with it all the time but that's my table side of the trailer it actually turns into a buck bed um it's got two little poles and they stick up and you fold the the back cushion up and it makes two little bunk beds great for little kids um i also have storage up above there um i did install this table right here it's a lugon table but it can swivel and you can do almost anything you want to do with it i'll show you and that's my trash bag i keep hung on the door what to do with walmart bags okay to take this table out that i install all you basically do is crank that handle out and it pulls straight up and it's out of your way or you can just if you want to you can just take the top off but you still have that rod so i guess if i had my grandkids over i'd have to take the whole thing out and i'll show you what it looks like with it out and it's that simple you just pull it straight up also have storage up under the, the um, front sofa right there you also have storage up under the bed on both sides okay and I'll show you what the bunk bed looks like set up okay there's some of your storage right there up under the bunk bed and I'm gonna set the bunk bed up here in a second so y'all can see exactly what it looks like okay there you go you set up um, bunk bed it took me about three minutes to do it. it's got two poles and they just rest behind the sofa when you put it back down on the top of it and it's pretty well it's simple I think it'll I'm not sure what how much weight it'll hold but I'm pretty sure it's about 125 but don't quote me on that and the rod store right there on the back of the sofa it's that simple three minutes and you got a bunk beds Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video of my 2017 Scamp Travel Trailer without a bathroom. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram at all small letters J dot Holderfield. H-O-L-D-E-R-F-I-E-L-D. -E -E I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the day. Happy 4th of July.